Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making a character using only circles in Inkscape. Let's head on over to Inkscape. This character design we're, we're working on today is very simple. Like I said, using only circles and it's going to be a lot of fun because you, you're you going to have the ability to play around with this a lot and um, even use this for for other things you're going to be doing in Maker Foundations. So let's resize the window and let's zoom in a little bit. And to zoom in, you can hit number five on a keyboard, or you can go up here to the command bar and click on Zoom to fit page in window. And it tells you the shortcut right there. So let's zoom in there. And now we're going to head over to the toolbox and click on the circle so it's like a circle pink circle and it says create circles ellipses and arcs so we're going to make a circle and to make a circle um, it's very important that you hold down control because that way you scale it proportionally so see how it comes out nice and round now if i didn't hit control and i did the circle i could control could control it uh pretty nicely but then, you know, if I if my mouse slips or if my hand slips, then you're going to have these weird shapes that aren't really what you want. So we're going to move that over here. And let's scale this a little bit more. So grab that bottom right hand corner and hit control and then just drag down a little bit more. OK, that's good. And Oops, let me widen this screen a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm actually going to change the color to a lighter color. Down here on the, on the colors palette, choose one of these. You don't have to choose the same color I'm using. You can choose any one you want. Um, and then from there, we're going to go back to circles. And we're going to create another circle. So remember to hold down control. And there you go, let go of that. And we want this circle to be like halfway through the big circle we created. So it's gonna look like like an eyeball like bulging out of his head. So there's one. And then what we're gonna do here is you can either right click on the circle once you have it selected. So to select it, you click on it. Right click on it and you can hit copy or you can hit control C. And then we're going to hit, uh, we're going to go up here. Let's see, the shortcut is paste in place. So control alt V. Control alt V. And it's going to paste another one. And I'm here I'm hitting shift and the arrow keys to move the circle. One thing I want to show you guys, I'm going to delete this real quick, is there is a simpler way. I showed you the hard way first. In Inkscape, you can duplicate things. So if you hit control D, right now I have another circle on top of that first circle. So if I hit, uh, if I hold shift and I use the right arrow key, I can move this guy over here and there you can see that there is another circle there and then just position that to look the same yep that looks good and that way I, I like using control D more because that way it's um, it's on the same axis where you where you started with the first circle and that way you don't lose like you don't have one circle that's like or any other one. So let's make another circle. And control. Oh, we're not going to see that because it's the same color. So let's go down to the colors palette and click white. And we're just going to position that guy there. That looks good. We're going to hit control D again. And then hold shift. And use the arrow keys to drag that guy over here. 
and then if you want you can see how it jumps a lot with shift if you let go of shift and use the arrow keys you can position that uh, better so there you go go back to the toolbox click on circle again and we're going to make another one inside there again you're not going to see it because it's the same color so let's click on black uh, and let's make that guy a little bit bigger there we go control d again position that and then go back to circles and we're just going to add a little detail little small circle make it white and then you can position that in the upper right hand corner control d to duplicate that way it looks like there's a light shining into his eyes let's see let's go back to circle and let's add his mouth so again hold control drag the circle and let's position that guy like that let's make this a little bit bigger okay so there is circle one thing i want to show you guys is that in inkscape since we're working with vector files all these shapes can be converted into paths and that way you can uh, manipulate them to to be the shape that um, you want so let's go up here to the menu bar go to path and click on object to path and then now that it's a path if we go over here it's a second tool in a tools box click it's called edit paths by node click on that and you can see you're gonna have four nodes that appear now and these nodes if you click left click and drag them you can manipulate them so I can completely change the shape I'm gonna make this just move it down a little bit to make it like a like he's smiling that looks good and what we're gonna do is click on that that shape and actually let's change the color first it's a darker color that looks good we're gonna hit uh, control D after you click on it and then remember once you hit control D Inkscape is gonna duplicate what you made and it's gonna be on top of the object that you wanted to duplicate and then we can just select this bounding box that's around it, hold control, select that corner, and you can drag it down. So we're gonna drag it down, make it white, and position that guy over here. We're gonna drag that down a little bit. It's gonna represent his teeth. Yep, that looks good. Oh, let's drag this guy over here a little bit and then position it with the arrow keys yep okay so now let's go back to the toolbox click on circles and we're gonna make his eyebrows so control and drag and position that here click on that and go to path in the menu bar and click on object to path go back to the edit nodes and we're going to drag this guy over here drag this guy over here bring this down bring this guy up and i'm going to zoom in so so you guys can see this better to zoom in you can go here in the tools box and click on zoom in or out it's a magnifying glass or you can hit Z on a keyboard and to zoom in you can just click where you want to zoom in uh, easier way is if you left click and drag a bounding box around the area you want to zoom into and it zooms into there 
So click on that. Click on uh, Edit Pass by Nodes. And let's play around. Oh, one thing I want to show you guys is if you click on the nodes, these handles appear. These two, you see these two sides. So these handles, you can edit how um, how the curves between these nodes interact. So if I click on this handle, I can move that, and it's gonna it's gonna manipulate that curve, that line between these two nodes. I can stretch it out. I can bring it in. I can move it up. I can move it down. Move this guy over here. I think that looks good. Let's zoom out. If you click uh, hit number five on the keyboard, you can zoom out. And we're going to position this guy a little bit over here. And let's hit Control D to duplicate and just move that over to the side. So that way we have these two eyebrows. But one thing that we have to do with the new eyebrow we uh, positioned is we have to flip it because right now they're pointing both in the same direction. Uh, if you go up here to the tools control bar, you have to have this tool selected, the first tool, so select and transform objects tool, which is just a pointer. Um, and select this one. If you hover over, it's going to say flip select objects horizontally. If you click on that, it's going to flip the, the eyebrow or the object horizontally. So now they're pointing in. That looks a lot better there. And you can actually change the color of this. So if we want, if we want to change the color of two objects simultaneously, if you hold down shift and select another object, that way you have these two selected and now I can change the color. Looks a lot better there. So yeah, this is uh, the end of the this video. I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Remember you can play around with this more and just edit it the way you want to. Add some hair, maybe some whiskers, a nose, and yeah, play around with it more. Thank you.